Good afternoon, it's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm gonna give you a quick video walk around of this 2014 on a 64 plate. Uh, it is the Ford Transit 2.2 TDCI 460 minibus. So obviously the twin axle minibus with the 17 seats. Uh, this is a one keeper from new vehicle. It has been out on uh, lease to the Ministry of Defense. Uh, it has a full maintenance print with it, pages of A4 service print with it to be fair. And it's in pretty good all round condition. There's a couple of just minor little bits for us to sort out before it goes out the door. Um, but the purpose of these videos is to give you a warts and all video walk around of the vehicle. So you get a good idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. So we're gonna start up here. We're gonna start up there on the, on the roof, on the nose cone sort of thing. And there's just a couple of, couple of chips just to, you got one here on your little spot there that just needs tea cutting and uh touching up but overall good condition coming down onto your windscreen the windscreen is again in good overall condition as well and then coming down onto your bonnet we have a stone chip on the bonnet that needs touching up but again good overall condition as well there's your stone chip that needs touching up so we'll get that done for you and then looking at the front end of the vehicle, your front grills, front of the front bumper, etc., all in nice condition, no damage. Your passenger side headlamp unit, that's in good order as well. And your passenger side front bumper corner, again, that's in good condition with no scuffing. Now, if we look down the side profile of the vehicle, there are no major dents or dings to point out to you. Actually very straight and tidy, to be fair to it. And coming round to the driver's side, your driver's side headlamp unit, all good. And the driver's side front bumper corner, again, all good, no scuffing. And again, just looking down the side profile of the van, very straight and tidy, as you can see. Driver's side front wing, all good. I think it lines up to how it should be. Uh, we have had the steel wheels all refurbished on it uh, with a new centre cap there. And then you have a Hankook, uh, a Hankook tire. It's a mouthful. On the, uh, on the front there, loads of tire tread depth on there, isn't it? Looking all pretty good. Right, so I've had to patch the video together because the phone's gone off, cut the video off. Um, and that's a pain in the ass, isn't it? So uh, I think I was here looking at the driver's door glass. Uh, that's all in good condition, no scratching. The alignment of the doors and everything are all looking good. Now we do have just a minute eye little ding there. Uh, we have a little touch in that's required there. Door handle's looking good. Minor scratching behind the door handle, but I think we can probably get that looking a bit better. And your door locks all looking good, as are the door edges on the driver's door. No signs of any significant abuse. If I get down on the creaky old knees, have a look underneath, you can have a look. And side seals all looking nice and tidy. The protective strips down the side of the vehicle, as you can see, those are in good condition as well, and all your side marker lights are present and correct and working. Your mid panel here, as you can see, nice and tidy, opening window there. Now we have a little touch in that is required there, and just a little bit of a ding underneath it. So a little touch in, little ding. They've obviously just caught it slightly there. It's not a big deal at all, as you can see, um, but we'll get that touched in. If we're getting the dent man on the other dings, I'll see what you can do with that little one there as well. Side glass opening, etc., all nice. And then wheels on the back again, refurbed wheels, um, tires. Um, I think they're all looking pretty good. So, where we are with tires, anything less than three millimeters, we replace the legal limit being 1.6 millimeters. So, as part of our 110 point PDI check, you will get exactly what your tire tread depths are. Rear quarter, as you can see, all looking good. If I just show you down the side profile of the vehicle from this angle, hopefully you can see. It is a very tidy example. I am picking it to pieces on the video, but that's what we do. Your plastic trims on the side and the back here is all good. Your rear light unit this side, that's all looking good. Coming to the rear of the vehicle. Now at the moment, it doesn't have a reverse camera and it doesn't have rear sensors. Uh, I will fit one or the other for you as part of the sale. So just let me know what you fancy uh, and we'll see if we can get it rigged up. 
Um, but anyway, rear doors, as you can see, all good. Heated glass rear windows on the back of it. The doors themselves all nice and straight. And now it does have a tow bar fitted, the, the metal step on the tow bar. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not designed to be like that. I'm fairly sure that has been kind of bent back a little bit. Um, I would suggest we take it off unless you particularly need a step on it. Um, in which case, I don't know, we'll have a conversation about that, shall we? But you've got a tow bar, two-lay tow bar by the looks of it with single electric, so that's nice, isn't it? And then opening up the back, as you can see, it's very, very tidy inside, back of the seats. I've taken individual photos of all of the seats, front and back, so that you can see that there's no damage on any of them. But it's very, very tidy. Inside of your rear doors, look at those. Very, very clean and tidy. It's not, all, not obviously done a lot of hard work. We've got a little bit of a ding there on the inside, but overall, very, very tidy condition. I will just step up, show you the the seats they have just been wet vac today so they are just drying out a little bit at the moment but your headlining etc is all very nice and tidy and as i mentioned to you that this is an air conditioned van um so uh yeah air conditioning happy days uh and then looking down the side profile of the vehicle on the passenger side hopefully you can see again a really really straight tidy example rear light unit this side's all good rear bumper corner this side again all good your side repeaters are all present and correct and working um, no major damage or no damage on your rear quarters again still we've had all of the steel wheels done on it okay so steel wheels all looking good tires that side it's all looking fairly recent that one can't quite see on that one to be fair but as i say i think we've mo we've had to re-mot it in order to get it re-registered from the mod number plates so um, it's all past all good there. Now, we've got a little bit of a plastic strip here that's come loose. It is the uh, plastic grommets that have broken on it. I don't know whether you can see there. It's got some broken plastic grommets, so we will get those replaced. And they have just ever so slightly caught it on the bottom there, which I think should all just touch in quite nicely with a touch-up stick. Trim going down the side of the vehicle again, very tidy. Your sliding door, all very good. Let's finish the outside, shall we? And then front passenger door, door glass, mirror units, and front wing, all nice and tidy, as is your front wheel with Bridgestone tire. So, let me just show you the party trick. Open up the sliding door, and there's your electric step that has automatically come out. And then your entry step and plastics inside, as you can see, nice and tidy. Getting up into the vehicle. Just your flooring, let me show you the flooring. So the flooring again, tidy. No excessive wear with the flooring or anything. And then seats, as you can see. I've already shown you the back of the seats. So I'll show you all of the front of the seats. Again, all very nice. All your headlining, etc. There's no excessive damage or anything. And then the front seat, obviously with your armrest for the driver. We have the steering wheel. Steering wheel still got all your factory texture to it. It does have Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. It does have heated rear window. It does have stop start technology. It does have the all important air conditioning. Did I mention Bluetooth phone and music? It's 70,000 kilometers. So that's about 43,000 miles. Your flooring on the driver's side, as you can see, is in good order. You have your fire extinguisher in the center there. And then the flooring on the passenger side, that is also good. We'll come around and show you your little, your little yellow grab handles as well passenger side passenger side door glass passenger side door cards inside your door cards your door shuts and your entry sills and plastics are good there's your diesel fuel filler there's your add blue filler because it is a euro 6 van so it's all ulez lez zone and emission zones compliant 
passenger airbag there. Obviously, glove box. So your passenger seat, so you don't think I'm having you over on anything by covering it with a camera. That's all nice and tidy, isn't it? And then just going round to the driver's side so you can see your driver's side door card. Again, clean and tidy. Entry seals, flooring, etc. all good. Now to open up the bonnet, it does require the key. The key goes into this slot here. You turn it to the left and then you turn it all the way to the right to release it, of which I do have to try and do that with two hands. Um, underneath the bonnet, as you can see, pretty clean and tidy. There's your coolant level. That's the correct colour coolant for Ford and there's no contamination in it. There's your dipstick. There is your brake fluid. There is your windscreen wash. There is your power steering fluid. All nice and tidy. And there we go. So we've got a few little touch-ins to do. A couple of dent man dings. Sort out the little strip on the plastics there but in overall good condition there are 60 to 70 photos of this vehicle on our website our website is vanstoday.com and we are vans today worcester um if you want to speak to us it's 01905 670 somebody's just taking my concentration away 01905 672080 or email us sales at phone went off again sales at vanstoday.com um, if you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We've got reviews on Google, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, etc., etc. Um, and uh, there we go. Um, a slightly disruptive and not my finest of videos, it has to be said. But I'm no Steven Spielberg, so we'll kind of bodge it together into some form of a video so you can get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. Any queries, give me a shout. Thanks for looking. Probably about 15 minutes of your life you're never going to get back. But if you are interested, hopefully that is a good idea of exactly what you're buying. Cheers, bye.